So I, I think the one of the, the ways to to start that conversation is uh, to highlight what they're they're looking for. They're looking for safe and secure air travel. And most people are flying on airplanes that aren't flown by governments. So the mode of travel is being done by by private entities um, in the in the in the uh, the you know the the private sector. They're, they're commercial um, aviation operators. We've seen places like Canada. We've seen places like the United Kingdom privatize the air traffic control system in each one of those countries. You have NAV Canada and we have NATS. So we've already seen a shift away from you know governments uh, subsidizing heavily their airlines to having more competitive uh, practices when it comes to to airlines being you know private companies that aren't you know, completely backed by government authorities as they were a lot um, in the first half of the, the century. They've moved to a much wider scale of privatization. And we've seen the privatization of air traffic control services. And so the same type of professional private sector approach can be done when it comes to fixing the NOTAM system uh, as, it, as it's been done in some leading countries to privatize their air traffic control services. Now, I'm not saying it needs to be completely privatized. I'm saying we need to bring the private sector into the discussion because they have the uh, ingenuity, the innovative spirit, uh, and uh, the outside-the-box thinking that it's going to take to solve a solution like this. But they're going to need governments to bring people together bring the right stakeholders to the table, um, help with making sure that, that legislation and regulation is, is influenced in the right way, uh, but to get the, uh, the ball rolling on making the change happen, I think the private sector needs to be uh, brought in and properly motivated.